Hi beautiful, I'm gonna be doing my whole face of makeup using only filters. Starting with eyebrows using this filter. I feel like my eyebrows are close to this already. <laughs> We're done with brows, let's move on. You already knew what I was gonna do for contour. My head is definitely a rectangle. I'm built like a Fruit Loops box. This is almost exactly how I normally do it. I feel like it's gonna look really good. Time for some freckles, let's see what we get. I guess I won't be wearing this makeup outside my house. This is actually not that easy. I picked the random Halloween eyeliner for some spice. Of course it gave me the most difficult one. I have no idea if this looks good or not. I should have done eyeshadow first, but all right. One of my friends just asked me to hang out. Uh, not right now. Lastly, we are doing some random lips. Come on, should I send a picture to my crush like this? Okay, and this is our final look from all of those filters combined. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna go outside the house. I kind of killed it. I think I did a good job. Ooh, a button. No, don't press that. Why not? Nobody knows what it does and we're not allowed to press it. Why is it there then? I don't know why it's there, but you're not gonna be the one to find out. What if it's like a million dollars? Or what if it literally ends the world? You need to go to school and don't press it while you're there, okay? Okay, I won't. I heard that someone got rich from pressing it last year. What are you guys talking about? What the button does, we all wanna know. Someone told me that it's like a genie and if you press it, you get three wishes. Hey Bailey, I'll give you $100 if you press the button right now. Make it 200 and you got a deal. Easy, you got yourself a deal. You're not really gonna press the button, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody knows and that's why you don't press it. We'll be fine. Does that say what I think it says? Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Hey, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. Guys, it's about to be midnight. I'm so nervous to see how many smiles I got. It'll be a lot. You're the happiest person I know. I hope so. Oh, wait, it's happening right now. I have a thousand. What about you? One. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just won't smile. Are you sure? I've never seen you sad. Hey, Bailey. Hey, guys. Um, whoa, what is wrong with you? I only got one smile. Oh, that sucks. I have 4,000. Wait, does that mean you can't smile, like, at all? No, only the one time. Ew, we can't hang out with you. Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to follow them. Don't listen to them. They're assholes. It's not your fault. They were my only friends. I'll be your only friend instead, then. Also, I might have a way of helping you out. Why you gotta be so mean? You need to stay away from my boyfriend. He's coming over and I know that you like him. Maybe we got lost in translation? Don't pretend like you don't know. I saw you flirting with him. It must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero. Oh, hey, Bailey. Uh, I like your outfit today. Lately, I've been dressing for revenge. I'm glad you're in a good mood. That made my day a little bit better. Everything will be all right if you keep me next to you. Wait, really? Uh, that's really sweet of you. You belong with me. To be honest, I'm in love with you, not your sister. I used her to get here. Boys only want love if it's torture. I knew it. I knew you were trying to steal my boyfriend this whole time. There's nothing I do better than revenge. How could you do this to me? You're my sister. Don't blame me. Love made me crazy. There is something seriously wrong with you, and you were done. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I was wondering if you guys have Christmas specials. No, we do not have any Christmas specials. Sorry. Wait, are you that guy from yesterday? I'm super late. I have to go. Goodbye. I hate people around the holidays. <laughs> me too. Dude, there's another gift for you, but you're gonna need two hands for this. A guitar? Holy shit. I need to find out who's been giving me these, and I know that guy has something to do with it. He left. What are you gonna do, chase him down? That's a good idea. Sir, wait. Uh, yes? Who are you, and why have you been giving me presents? It's not me, but I do know someone who can help you. Take this number and call them. Why would I call this random phone number? Where did he go? I have nothing else to do. Hello? Hello? Who, who is this? Uh, do you like any car insurance? Salespeople again? Bye. No, wait. Oh, wow. Are you trying something new with your hair? No, what do you mean? Look at yourself. 
<gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm -hmm. Kelly too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair. Me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. She's back and with more fashion trends from the 2000s that we have to bring back. Listen, hear me out for one second. The denim on denim is kind of hot. I love it. Especially in like this couple's aesthetic and with the necklace, I'm obsessed. I will now be buying a denim corset. Track suits, like why do we ever stop wearing these? They're so cute and you don't have to put any effort in because it already matches. I'm gonna buy this, but in hot pink. Just everything about Christina Aguilera, the gloves, the chain, the hats, I love the hats. Obviously I already did the braids too. I think they're so cute. Also just everything Avril Lavigne did. Like, are you kidding me? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have these arm cuffs and I bought a tie because of this look. I'm obsessed with cargo pants and I'm very glad that they're coming back into style. Let me know what trends you missed from the 2000s because I have so many more. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might wanna argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children's sized legs. The crimped hair, mwah. Why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay, this, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you wanna see come back. Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm gonna rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a seven out of 10. Day two, oh, I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you could never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Everyone and their mother is freaking out over this bold glam filter, so we're gonna try to recreate it. Jump scare! I have some things, so let's do it. Going in with a blurring primer because I did not have a single pore with that filter on. In case any of my pores are left, I'm gonna use a blurring BB cream too. This concealer is literally white because we wanna lift and snatch the face. I am built like an egg, but this filter gave me cheekbones. I want a little baby button nose. I was about to use this. What happened? <laughs> Did anyone else go follow Selena Gomez after all the drama? My brows are already dark, but this filter made them even darker. That's definitely aggressive. Why do I look like a who? Shine bright like a diamond. I really don't want to do this, but it's time to overline my lips. I already have lip filler, so this is a lot. It's giving fish from fishtails. Spot the difference. Okay, final reveal. This is me with the filter on, and here is me with the filter off. It looks even crazier because I already have a full face of makeup on. How do you guys think I did? Let me know in the comments. There are so many different kinds of people that go to Coachella. First, you got the people who somehow have everything in their bag. Oh, I think my foundation's messed up. Oh, your makeup's coming off. I have a mirror. We got oil wipes. I have liquid IV in case you're thirsty, a lip gloss. I also have a fan and some hair clips. Then you got the people who will take any opportunity they get to take a photo. Could you take a photo of me right now? The light is so good. Yeah, I guess. Slay, get it. Okay, were those cute? Um, sure. Okay, let's go over there and take some more too. Then you also have that friend who kind of can't hang but will rally for their favorite artist. Are you sure you're okay? We don't have to stay. Yeah, I'm fine. I have to watch Blink-182. You are incredibly determined. 
What kind of person would you be at Coachella? Get ready with me as I tell you guys about the time I had a stalker. When I first moved to LA, I lived in an apartment complex that had a gym with it. But then I moved to somewhere that had no amenities at all. So I had to go and get a different gym membership. Since my rent had gone up, I was like, um, bitch, I'm gonna save some money and go to Planet Fitness. Key piece of information, this was not in the best area at all. Everything had been totally fine, no weird experiences, until this one day I smiled at a dude in the parking lot and then he left a note on my windshield. I was just trying to be friendly because he was getting out of the car right next to me, but oops. the note basically said, you're cute, call me. And I kind of laughed at it and never did because it's weird. Fast forward two months, I had gotten a new car and it was like 9 p.m. I come out of the gym and there is a sticky note pasted right above my door handle. This is what the note said. Mm. Obviously someone was butthurt that I didn't text them. This man knew what my old car looked like, now knew what my new car looked like, and knew what time I went to the gym. I went back the next day and canceled it immediately, but they couldn't do anything about it. Guys, it's about to be midnight. I'm so nervous to see how many smiles I got. It'll be a lot. You're the happiest person I know. I hope so. Oh, wait, it's happening right now. I have a thousand. What about you? One. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just want to smile. Are you sure? I've never seen you sad. Hey, Bailey. Hey, guys. Um, whoa, what is wrong with you? I only got one smile. Oh, that sucks. I have 4,000. Wait, does that mean you can't smile, like, at all? No, only the one time. Ew, we can't hang out with you. Come on, guys, let's go. I I'm sorry, I have to follow them. Don't listen to them. They're assholes. It's not your fault. They were my only friends. I'll be your only friend instead then. Also, I might have a way of helping you out. Why you gotta be so mean? You need to stay away from my boyfriend. He's coming over and I know that you like him. Maybe we got lost in translation? Don't pretend like you don't know. I saw you flirting with him. It must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero. Oh, hey Bailey, uh, I like your outfit today. Lately I've been dressing for revenge. I'm glad you're in a good mood. That made my day a little bit better. Everything will be all right if you keep me next to you. Wait, really? Uh, that's really sweet of you. You belong with me. To be honest, I'm in love with you, not your sister. I used her to get here. Boys only want love if it's torture. I knew it. I knew you were trying to steal my boyfriend this whole time. There's nothing I do better than revenge. How could you do this to me? You're my sister. Don't blame me. Love made me crazy. There is something seriously wrong with you, and you were done. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I was wondering if you guys have Christmas specials. No, we do not have any Christmas specials. Sorry. Wait, are you that guy from yesterday? I'm super late. I have to go. Goodbye. I hate people around the holidays. <laughs> me too. Dude, there's another gift for you, but you're going to need two hands for this. A guitar? Holy shit. I need to find out who's been giving me these, and I know that guy has something to do with it. He left. What are you gonna do? Chase him down? That's a good idea. Sir, wait. Uh, yes? Who are you, and why have you been giving me presents? It's not me, but I do know someone who can help you. Take this number and call them. Why would I call this random phone number? Where did he go? I have nothing else to do. Hello? Hello? Who, who is this? Uh, do you like any car insurance? Salespeople again? Bye. No, wait. Guys, it's about to be midnight. I'm so nervous to see how many smiles I got. It'll be a lot. You're the happiest person I know. I hope so. Oh, wait, it's happening right now. I have a thousand. What about you? One. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just won't smile. Are you sure? I've never seen you sad. Hey, Bailey. Guys. Um, whoa, what is wrong with you? I only got one smile. Oh, that sucks. I have 4,000. Wait, does that mean you can't smile, like, at all? No, only the one time. Ew, we can't hang out with you. Come on, guys, let's go. I I'm sorry, I have to follow them. Don't listen to them. They're assholes. It's not your fault. They were my only friends. I'll be your only friend instead, then. Also, I might have a way of helping you out. Why you gotta be so mean? You need to stay away from my boyfriend. He's coming over and I know that you like him. Maybe we got lost in translation? Don't pretend like you don't know. I saw you flirting with him. It must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero. Oh, hey Bailey, uh, I like your outfit today. Lately I've been dressing for revenge. 
I'm glad you're in a good mood. That made my day a little bit better. Everything will be all right if you keep me next to you. Wait, really? Uh, that's really sweet of you. You belong with me. To be honest, I'm in love with you, not your sister. I used her to get here. Boys only want love if it's torture. I knew it! I knew you were trying to steal my boyfriend this whole time! There's nothing I do better than revenge. How could you do this to me? You're my sister! Don't blame me. Love made me crazy. There is something seriously wrong with you, and you were done! It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I was wondering if you guys have Christmas specials. No, we do not have any Christmas specials. Sorry. Wait, are you that guy from yesterday? I'm super late. I have to go. Goodbye. I hate people around the holidays. <laughs> Me too. Dude, there's another gift for you, but you're gonna need two hands for this. A guitar? Holy shit! I need to find out who's been giving me these, and I know that guy has something to do with it. He left. What are you gonna do, chase him down? That's a good idea. Sir, wait. Uh, yes? Who are you, and why have you been giving me presents? It's not me, but I do know someone who can help you. Take this number and call them. Why would I call this random phone number? Where'd he go? I have nothing else to do. Hello? Hello? Who, who is this? Uh, do you like any car insurance? Salespeople again? Bye. No, wait. One? How can well, you at least he's popular. Honey, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, just checking. I love you. I love you too, Mom. I know it's been hard, but try to have a good day, okay? I will. Guys, it's about to be midnight. I'm so nervous to see how many smiles I got. It'll be a lot. You're the happiest person I know. I hope so. Oh, wait, it's happening right now. I have a thousand. What about you? One. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just won't smile. Are you sure? I've never seen you sad. Hey, Bailey. Hey, guys. Um, whoa, what is wrong with you? I only got one smile. Oh, that sucks. I have 4,000. Wait, does that mean you can't smile, like, at all? No, only the one time. Ew, we can't hang out with you. Come on, guys, let's go. I I'm sorry, I have to follow them. Don't listen to them. They're assholes. It's not your fault. They were my only friends. I'll be your only friend instead, then. Also, I might have a way of helping you out. Why you gotta be so mean? You need to stay away from my boyfriend. He's coming over and I know that you like him. Maybe we got lost in translation? Don't pretend like you don't know. I saw you flirting with him. It must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero. Oh, hey Bailey, uh, I like your outfit today. Lately I've been dressing for revenge. I'm glad you're in a good mood. That made my day a little bit better. Everything will be all right if you keep me next to you. Wait, really? Uh, that's really sweet of you. You belong with me. To be honest, I'm in love with you, not your sister. I used her to get here. Boys only want love if it's torture. I knew it! I knew you were trying to steal my boyfriend this whole time! There's nothing I do better than revenge. How could you do this to me? You're my sister! Don't blame me. Love made me crazy. There is something seriously wrong with you, and you were done! It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. She's back, and with more fashion trends from the 2000s that we have to bring back. Listen, hear me out for one second. The denim on denim is kind of hot. I love it. Especially in like this couple's aesthetic and with the necklace, I'm obsessed. I will now be buying a denim corset. Track suits, like why did we ever stop wearing these? They're so cute and you don't have to put any effort in because it already matches. I'm gonna buy this, but in hot pink. Just everything about Christina Aguilera, the gloves, the chain, the hats, I love the hat. Obviously I already did the braids too. I think they're so cute. Also, just everything Avril Lavigne did. Like, are you kidding me? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have these arm cuffs and I bought a tie because of this look. I'm obsessed with cargo pants and I'm very glad that they're coming back into style. Let me know what trends you missed from the 2000s because I have so many more. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might wanna argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children's sized legs. The crimped hair, blah, blah. why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay. This, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you wanna see come back.
I can't punch someone in the face. That is so mean. Wait, but for a thousand dollars? Who's my victim? Hey, sis. Uh, yeah, what's up? Remember that one time you stole my white blouse and got hot sauce all over it? Um, yeah, I remember that. I said sorry. It's time for my payback. Dude, you broke my nose. Yes, I'm rich. What's next? I want to buy myself a Chanel bag. You want me to cut someone's ponytail off? I'm sorry, but for 10K, I have to. Mom, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. What? What do you mean? Did you just cut all my hair off? Uh, yeah, looks like it. If I have to be bald, so do you. <gasps> I'm sorry. What? I can't do that. I'm gonna get arrested. I'll help you finish the challenge if you give me half the prize money. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss. Are you Giselle? Hi. Um, yes, my grandpa. Is he going to be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you gonna call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's gonna pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom loves you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look, 
I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes, I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh-huh, nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18, isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Wow. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you can hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things. Just use one of them. No, I'm sorry. Just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Wait, what are you doing? Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to, we all do. Well, it's definitely not gonna be by drowning. I'm gonna pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck, I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my God, that's way worse, no. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18, isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you can hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things. Just use one of them. No, I'm sorry, just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Wait, what are you doing? 
Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't wanna choose the reason that I die. You have to, we all do. Well, it's definitely not gonna be by drowning. I'm gonna pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck, I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my God, that's way worse, no. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. I don't remember anything that happened last night. Where am I right now? Welcome to your escape room. You must complete five tasks in order to leave. What? I don't want to play this game. You must play. Let me out of here. If you fail to complete all five tasks, you will not be making it out alive. What can you hold in your right hand but not your left? I don't know. My left hand. That wasn't so bad. There is no way I am doing that. Please just let me out of here. Okay. That hurts. What now? How am I supposed to give myself a tattoo? No. I can't punch someone in the face. That is so mean. Wait, but for a thousand dollars, who's my victim? Hey sis. Uh, yeah, what's up? Remember that one time you stole my white blouse and got hot sauce all over it? Um, yeah, I remember that. I said sorry. It's time for my payback. Dude, you broke my nose. Yes, I'm rich. What's next? I want to buy myself a Chanel bag. You want me to cut someone's ponytail off? I'm sorry, but for 10K, I have to. Mom, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. What? What do you mean? Did you just cut all my hair off? Uh, yeah, looks like it. If I have to be bald, so do you. <gasps> I'm sorry. What? I can't do that. I'm gonna get arrested. I'll help you finish the challenge if you give me half the prize money. Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna be doing my whole face of makeup using only filters. Starting with eyebrows using this filter. I feel like my eyebrows are close to this already. <laughs> We're done with brows. Let's move on. You already knew what I was gonna do for contour. My head is definitely a rectangle. I'm built like a Fruit Loops box. This is almost exactly how I normally do it. I feel like it's gonna look really good. Time for some freckles. Let's see what we get. I guess I won't be wearing this makeup outside my house. This is actually not that easy. I picked the random Halloween eyeliner for some spice. Of course it gave me the most difficult one. I have no idea if this looks good or not. I should have done eyeshadow first, but all right. One of my friends just asked me to hang out. Uh, not right now. Lastly, we are doing some random lips. Come on. Should I send a picture to my crush like this? Okay, and this is our final look from all of those filters combined. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna go outside the house. I kind of killed it. I think I did a good job. Ooh, a button. No, don't press that. Why not? Nobody knows what it does and we're not allowed to press it. Why is it there then? I don't know why it's there, but you're not going to be the one to find out. What if it's like a million dollars? Or what if it literally ends the world? You need to go to school and don't press it while you're there, okay? Okay, I won't. I heard that someone got rich from pressing it last year. What are you guys talking about? What the button does, we all want to know. Someone told me that it's like a genie, and if you press it, you get three wishes. Hey, Bailey, I'll give you $100 if you press the button right now. Make it 200 and you got a deal. Easy, you got yourself a deal. You're not really gonna press the button, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody knows and that's why you don't press it. We'll be fine. Does that say what I think it says? Oh my God, we're all gonna die. I know you guys tell me to stop messing with my hair, but my bangs need a trim. Am I gonna go to a stylist? No. I'm gonna cut them myself with my baby tiny scissors. I just wanna do some baby pieces in the front cause I don't trust myself, but I also can't see cause of the bangs. Okay, I'm just gonna say fuck it and start cutting. <laughs> I don't wanna mess 
them up. That's my biggest worry that they're just gonna like look really bad. I don't think that that's even. I think I need to cut a little bit more on this side. Hopefully I won't <laughs> regret this. Okay, I'm too scared and I barely took anything off, but I can definitely see now, which is good. I think that they're cute and my hair is always really messy. So you probably won't even tell if they're kind of uneven. Okay guys, I just got back from the festival day two and my hair is looking a little crazy, but the makeup has stayed on for the entire duration of the festival because of this NYX Cosmetics mattifying setting spray. It is so impressive and look at these stars. The dating standards in 2023 are literally on the floor. Like when did a date become getting in a car and just sitting in the parking lot? I just want someone to serenade me. Is that too much to ask? If you agree that romance is dead, then you're gonna like this song. I keep dating. punch someone in the face that is so mean wait but for a thousand dollars who's my victim hey sis uh yeah what's up remember that one time you stole my white blouse and got hot sauce all over it um yeah i remember that i said sorry it's time for my payback dude you broke my nose yes i'm rich what's next i want to buy myself a chanel bag you want me to cut someone's ponytail off I'm sorry, but for 10K, I have to. Mom, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. What, what do you mean? Did you just cut all my hair off? Uh, yeah, looks like it. If I have to be bald, so do you. <sighs> I'm sorry. What? I can't do that, I'm gonna get arrested. I'll help you finish the challenge if you give me half the prize money. Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna be doing my whole face of makeup using only filters. Starting with eyebrows using this filter. I feel like my eyebrows are close to this already. <laughs> We're done with brows, let's move on. You already knew what I was gonna do for contour. My head is definitely a rectangle. I'm built like a Fruit Loops box. This is almost exactly how I normally do it. I feel like it's gonna look really good. Time for some freckles, let's see what we get. I guess I won't be wearing this makeup outside my house. This is actually not that easy. I picked the random Halloween eyeliner for some spice. Of course it gave me the most difficult one. I have no idea if this looks good or not. I should have done eyeshadow first, but all right. One of my friends just asked me to hang out. Uh, not right now. Lastly, we are doing some random lips. Come on. Should I send a picture to my crush like this? Okay, and this is our final look from all of those filters combined. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna go outside the house. I kind of killed it. I think I did a good job. Ooh, a button. No, don't press that. Why not? Nobody knows what it does and we're not allowed to press it. Why is it there then? I don't know why it's there, but you're not gonna be the one to find out. What if it's like a million dollars? Or what if it literally ends the world? You need to go to school and don't press it while you're there, okay? Okay, I won't. I heard that someone got rich from pressing it last year. What are you guys talking about? What the button does, we all wanna know. Someone told me that it's like a genie and if you press it, you get three wishes. Hey Bailey, I'll give you $100 if you press the button right now. Make it 200 and you got a deal. Easy, you got yourself a deal. You're not really gonna press the button, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody knows and that's why you don't press it. We'll be fine. Does that say what I think it says? Oh my God, we're all gonna die. One, How can well, you at least he's popular. Honey, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, just checking, I love you. I love you too, mom. I know it's been hard, but try to have a good day, okay? I will. Guys, it's about to be midnight. I'm so nervous to see how many smiles I got. It'll be a lot. You're the happiest person I know. I hope so. Oh, wait, it's happening right now. I have a thousand. What about you? One. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just won't smile. Are you sure? I've never seen you sad. Hey, Bailey. Hey, guys. Um, whoa, what is wrong with you? I only got one smile. Oh, that sucks. I have 4,000. Wait, does that mean you can't smile, like, at all? No, only the one time. Ew, we can't hang out with you. Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to follow them. Don't listen to them. They're assholes. It's not your fault. They were my only friends. I'll be your only friend instead, then. Also, I might have a way of helping you out.
Why you gotta be so mean? You need to stay away from my boyfriend. He's coming over and I know that you like him. Maybe we got lost in translation. Don't pretend like you don't know. I saw you flirting with him. It must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero. Oh, hey Bailey, uh, I like your outfit today. Lately I've been dressing for revenge. I'm glad you're in a good mood. That made my day a little bit better. Everything will be all right if you keep me next to you. Wait, really? Uh, that's really sweet of you. You belong with me. To be honest, I'm in love with you, not your sister. I used her to get here. Boys only want love if it's torture. I knew it. I knew you were trying to steal my boyfriend this whole time. There's nothing I do better than revenge. How could you do this to me? You're my sister. Don't blame me. Love made me crazy. There is something seriously wrong with you, and you were done. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I was wondering if you guys have Christmas specials. No, we do not have any Christmas specials. Sorry. Wait, are you that guy from yesterday? I'm super late. I have to go. Goodbye. I hate people around the holidays. <laughs> me too. Dude, there's another gift for you, but you're going to need two hands for this. A guitar? Holy shit. I need to find out who's been giving me these, and I know that guy has something to do with it. He left. What are you going to do? Chase him down? That's a good idea. Sir, wait. Uh, yes? Who are you, and why have you been giving me presents? It's not me, but I do know someone who can help you. Take this number and call them. Why would I call this random phone number? Where did he go? Oh, I have nothing else to do. Hello? Hello? Who, who is this? Uh, do you like any car insurance? Salespeople again? Bye. No, wait. 